Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Going On. We're going to do a little bit of li- 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 lightning round. Okay, first one up right here. Meghan Markle is unbothered by Prince William's recent olive branch to Prince Harry. Now, first of all, it wasn't an olive branch. Sorry. All literally, and I mean this in the most literal sense of the word, literally, all William did was say Harry's name. That's it. There was no olive branch. There was no reaching out. I don't know what the hell these people are talking about. But even then, Megan, I'm talking directly to you. Even then, it's none of your friggin' business. Okay, it's pretty obvious. Why don't you keep your own relationship together, Megan? Okay, next one. Prince William will go head to head with the client and his fake black wife as a new rivalry is revealed. And this has to do with William getting his Weekend and Homelessness documentary on Disney Plus. And the difference between this documentary and the trash content that Megan and Harry have ever put out is that this is actually accomplishing something. That's what this is. And really, um, ending homelessness, it's not a huge topic, you know, so we're not expecting maybe millions, you know, 10, 5, 10 million, but we're not expecting millions and millions upon millions of views. So I do see that the Meghan and Harry PR people will try and criticize William's documentary for not getting as many views as Meghan and Harry's piece of trash documentary. I was going to say something else. Yeah, I can absolutely see it happening. There's no doubt in my mind we're going to see a piece in, I don't know, Daily Mail or Page Six. Oh, Prince William's documentary doesn't get as many views as uh, Meghan and Harry's documentary. That's exactly what they're going to say. I can totally see it. Okay, this next one. Can you get out of here, you stupid I swear. Oh, and then the ad blocker doesn't even work. The two idiots devastating Halloween call that changed everything. Well, they told you, Harry, that it was going to be 3500 instead of 2500 for Megan. That's a devastating $1,000 right there. You're going to pay for that, Harry. That's the devastating call. So then Jack, okay, it says Princess Eugenie, Snake, and Jack Briggs, uh, Brooks Bank in Toronto when they all went to the city's So. <laughs> <laughs> there it is right there so house because harry got the phone call oh yes sir we're gonna have to charge your car thirty five hundred dollars oh and then he looks across the table at megan and he's like mm, she's not worth thirty five hundred that's basically what it is that was the apocalypse uh theme bash that was the uh, call that he got while he was there picture sharon during this the two idiots docuseries revealed that the foursomes costume that night including the one mad max harry wore Tom Hardy. Okay. So what's the phone call? However, the devastating phone call they received while they were at the Halloween party during their dates, dating days. You mean when he was paying her, <laughs> changed their lives forever and left them worried. Came in 2016, still keeping. Can you just get on with it? And wanted to go on and have a plan. Uh, okay. So it doesn't even say what the phone call for the perfect. They especially didn't feel like spending Halloween in hiding. Oh, oh, really? Uh, no, no, no. Meghan Markle did not feel like taking Halloween in hiding. That's what it was. We all know what this woman was doing. I've even seen where she was like doing cryptic posts on Instagram. Okay, now I don't have them here, but I know they exist where she was trying to let the world know that she was dating Prince Harry, but without letting the world know that she was dating Prince Harry. So no, uh, uh-uh, Megan, you're not going to get away with this crap. They especially didn't feel like spending Halloween weekend in hiding. No, 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 no. She, as there was much to celebrate. Yes, that you finally got your client, Megan. That's what you're celebrating. Some four months into their relationship, they were madly in love. Yeah, sure. You know, $3,500 a visit. And eager to take part in the fun of one of their favorite holidays, the evening of October 29th with Harry in town. (laughs) Gee, I wonder. I wonder. When the rich guy comes to town, who's he going to meet up with? When he needs some entertainment while he's in town. Hmm. <laughs> the couple decided to go to a big costume party being thrown out, whatever. Uh, the newspaper found out the relationship was going to live. Oh, so the phone call was that they were outed. Well, more than likely, more than likely, if that's what this is, um, Megan Markle made the phone call and she told everyone. 
That's that's so easy. We can all see that happening. No problem. Okay, so this next one, King Charles is happy he can quietly ask Princess Eugenie. What? About Harry? What? I mean, that would kind of make sense, right, Portugal? The whole thing with Portugal. We talked about how the possibility now, I was talking about Archie in August, but the fact that, you know, Eugenie is in Portugal, they're, they got this little development in Portugal. It's not a house yet. They haven't built it. But, hey, you never know, right? Maybe that's like a little backdoor channel that this guy has. Well, Harry loves backdoor. But, you know, it's like a backdoor channel of information. King Charles is happy he can quietly ask Princess Eugenie about Harry. Okay. But also, this could be something where they're trying to implicate the king to have some kind of connection to the client. See, the king is probably happy that Harry still at least has one royal cousin he clearly trusts. Yes, the snake. Eugenie. When you... Okay. So... It was recently reported that Eugenie is trapped in a precarious uh, position between uh, Harry and Charles. Now your respected royal suggested that Charles is likely grateful to have a connection to Harry via Eugenie. See, Eugenie undoubtedly does have something of a challenge on her hands to maintain good relationships with both Harry and Meghan. Yes, because she's a snake and the rest of the royal family. Man, I'm telling you, I, I knew that girl was a snake right off the bat. I always, always always knew it there is no doubt in my mind okay now this one ugh, from she knows i swear that is the worst publication of all time uh the two idiots may have solidified the only royal friendship their kids will have which kids they don't exist 